So hi everyone. So right now behind me actually are these kind of agriculture drones and carriers. Look at this. This can be used actually for a lot of mountain areas. Imagine you live actually on the top of the mountain or you want to build up this kind of tomb on the top of the mountain in some rural area, but you don't have enough actual labor or you don't literally have that ladder or actually the staircase to go upstairs. You can only climb upstairs. How can you just transport all these kind of goods such as cement, such as sands towards the top of the mountain? You really need some help. And this type, in this type of situation, you can use this kind of carrier to help you to go up to 300 meters high in order to help you to build, build up all the things, the small room, a small house, or this kind of tomb on the top of the uh, mountain. And it can actually um, load more than 50 kilograms, actually um, this kind of goose to go up. And uh, during this uh, period of time, you can use it to go upper and you can do it to go down. And this is actually quite efficient and effective if you live really high you know, on the mountain. And also like in some rural areas, and uh, uh, if you have a lot of fields, for example, and you need to you know, uh, spread the seeds or spe uh, spread actually the chemical products in this type of scenario, you can use this kind of machine to help you. Actually, it's already well used in China, in part of China, such as Guangxi, such as Hunan, such as Shandong, such as Henan, and all this province. Right now, the Chinese farmers are using the drones, agriculture drones, actually to help them to, to grow their um, products and also like use it uh, to spread, you know, anti-pesticide, um, all these products, chemical products, in order to have a better treatment of your plants. So please follow us and we will see more.